Well, welcome back, everybody, to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, the Champion's Ballad. So, last time we did the uh, the four shrines, we unlocked the next part of the mission, which is we got to go travel to these three areas. I did cheat a little bit. I did look online as to where I should go. Yeah. But it's not about uh, how we got there. It's about, you know, actually just getting there and doing it. So, this is a bit different from last time. Uh, last time we were in the middle of a stream. Uh, you may remember, this time we're not doing a stream, we are in fact uh, just recording, just playing the game. Just going to do it, because I just I knew that I was going to need a little bit of extra assistance on this one. Because I know like if I get stuck on a stream, that I'll get stuck for a while for whatever reason. I didn't really want to get stuck in that position. I'm going to be freezing now because it's winter. It's not winter, it's just a cold area. Look at this little dude right here. What's he saying? Hi. I hear Yiga Clan were taken out by a travelling swordsman, and yet there are still an awful lot of them around. They seem to be hoarding bananas, and maybe they're still up to no good. Uh, they're all of their stuff from the Gruda tribe is there, from second floor storage. Uh, okay, so we've got to get upstairs. So, we got anything stealthy? Uh, I don't think I actually own stealthy clothes. I'm not really a stealthy guy. I guess Ganondorf's clothes are pretty stealthy. Well, it's not Ganondorf as such, is it? Uh, Phantom Ganon. It's pretty stealthy. It's got a pretty stealthy look to him. Actually, I don't think this look is very stealthy, but he is stealthy. There's like a there's like a banana thing up there. And I know that if I shoot it, it will attract him. But I don't know why I would want to attract him. Oh god, no! I don't want that one able to find me. So he's gonna look around here. There's a ladder up. That's actually what we need, I think. So if we can distract him with some bananas, that'd be pretty great. Can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, he spotted him. Yeah, there we go. So then we can go up straight up the ladder. Straight up the ladder. There we go. I was nearly not going to uncrouch then. Now, is it just like a straight line to where we've got to go? Oh no, this isn't even where we wanted to go, is it? Or is it? Is it there? That's no, here, isn't it? How do I get in there? So how do I get that orb? There's a banana down there. Is it through that? I think it is. It's through that door there. Making our way up. Making our way up. And we're grabbing the orb and all the bananas too. Because bananas apparently are good for you. But I don't like bananas. I actually don't like bananas. This orb we got to take outside into that hole. I feel like I'm doing almost a tutorial type thing right now. I don't really know. I mean, I watched a tutorial on this, but only this part was like, the part I really watched. I wanted to just see where the three were, so I could, you know, go there straight away and not have to be clueless. I don't think you should listen to me in terms of a tutorial. I only definitely only watched the Yiga Clan side of things. I did not watch the shrine afterwards. I've made a terrible mistake. Uh oh, and now I've made an even worse mistake. So now I've got to kill everyone, or get killed by everyone, I guess. Oh, what if I just use uh, good thing? I mean, it's a bit of a waste of those arrows, but sure. There's two dudes. Uh oh, that was definitely a waste of the arrow. I need a better sword. What have I got that's really powerful? Eh. I mean, I could use their sword against them. That'd be pretty good karma. Come on. 
I don't know where my orb's gone. Okay, we're done, we're done. That's going to open the door up. I mean, that's a, that's one way of getting out. Could have snuck out, but probably just easier just to attack them. Anytime I watch uh, a video on Zelda Breath of the Wild, everyone that I watch, they're like, they've always got tons of money. And I mean tons of money. Like, I thought when I was originally playing, like, 4,000 was a lot. Which I feel like it still is quite a lot. But it is no way near what I start. Sometimes I'm about, like, 20, 30,000. Like, how do you even... How'd you get that? So apparently we just chuck it in there. And here we go. Here's the shrine. There's gonna be a shrine pop out the ground. Wait, where are you, shrine? Oh, I can't actually hear what's going on. My volume's not in there loud enough. I'm assuming there was like a sound that was, you know. So if I'm right in thinking this, these shrines don't give us orbs that we can use to get health, which is not fair because we really, really don't have a full set of hearts and that really bothers me and I know that's kind of the point of the game it's supposed to either pick stamina or health at the end of it you can only have one full of one but I don't know okay I don't know what what's going on here so we got okay so we, is there like a number so I see two green two yellow Two or three blue? One, two, three. That says four blue, one red, two yellow, and. And there's a two green? Yeah, two green. I don't know if that's. That, is that. Oh, I solved it? So. Two. We got it. Blue, is it? I'm pretty sure I saw four, didn't I? Four blue. Uh, one red and two green. One red and two green. Is this really the. If this is the puzzle, I'm a bit upset. Because, to be honest, like, these are pretty cool looking orbs, and you don't really see, like, different coloured and styled orbs very much. Is that really. Come on! Is that really it? Look inside a box, see a couple of orbs? That's nothing. What's this? Is this where it goes, or...? Uh, huh. What's going on here? Now, I could just leave, but where'd be the fun in that? So there's like a magnetic ball just here. I'm assuming we can't get this out. I'm also assuming that there's... I would say there's something there, but... Oh, the top of that is magnetic. Ah, oh, that's all right. I actually had that upside down at one point as well. Okay. So if we turn this all the way around, See the lid is magnetic, but I don't see what I've got to do at all. I'm doing this all for a chest. I grab one of these walls. I can see this slides. So where would be the best position? Unless I've got like. Because it's still not moving, is it? So, what does it mean? Let's not do this. So now, look at that. Now we, oh, oh. Now we have it open. Look at that. We did it. We figured it out. And then we just gotta grab the old thing, I guess, and turn it upside down. And have all of these just come right out, I guess. 
Every single one. This would actually would have been the best way to count it as well, you know. And there are three magnetic balls. So I was thinking originally, oh, maybe I just got to tell them the amount of magnetic balls they've got in here. Now I'm just thinking, no, I've just probably got a. Oh no, I drew just up to them. I, I thought I might have to put one of each on each of the three. I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make sense. Thunder Spear. We did all that for a Thunder Spear. Okay, let's grab ourselves the per. I'm not even going to watch it, I'm just going to skip it. Nabura's emblem. Nabura's? Nabura's is emblem. So it just means nothing. It doesn't do anything. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. Okay. Two remain. I can count. On with the show. Moving on. Is it hot? It's not hot yet, but it will get hot. Look at that, the closer we get to the floor, the horror it gets. Yeah, I saw this bit in a tutorial as well that I was watching. And I, I know it's kind of cheating. It was just literally to get the... Oh, it's hot. I need to start putting some cooler stuff on. It was just, it was just to see what was going on. Uh, it wasn't too cheap, per se. Uh, just to see where I needed to go, just to make the thing quicker, like I said. Uh, but... I only, like I say, I only saw the how to do that, or the eager clam thing, I didn't see how to do it, I saw what it got to do. And then I saw the Molduga. I obviously didn't see him beat the Molduga, because it's a Molduga. Am I even in the Molduga place? Yeah, I can't say, it must be. It's hot. I assume this is the right one, because I pinpointed where they pinpointed. But I did see it was a King Molduga, or Moldu King. There it is. That thing right there. So I saw what it was. I saw what was going on. But that's it. The only thing with the Mole Dugas and I suppose Mole Du King is they're very boring to fight. I mean, it is literally just going to be me throwing bombs at it. Oh, yeah, that's different. Right? <laughs> so, are you going to come near me or am I going to have to? chase you around the sand. I really don't want to. Because I reckon as soon as I get, let's say about here, I'm going to get too close. Look at this, look at this, look at this. So he's coming towards me. Go, 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 go. Throw that. Come on, Maldu King. Come on. He's coming for it. He's going for it. Come on, come on, come on. And we need something to attack him with. What's a good weapon? That's a good weapon. Look at this. Now get out of the way, because I hear he's quite powerful. And I do not have the best armor on right now. Now, I hope he doesn't regenerate health. But I reckon he's gunny. Oh yeah, he's gonna. Hit him with a bomb arrow. Uh, and then let's hit him with... One of these. Yeah, that did some health damage, even. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, jeez. Well, it did some damage, which was the important thing. I mean, he can regenerate his health, sure. But can he regenerate that much health in that short a time? I don't think so, because he's already back on his, on his, on his belly. There we go. One more hit, one more hit! No, not one more hit! Mipha's grace! Give me grace! 
You. Okay. Get him one more time. And we'll use our, our verbose uh, fury. Oh, we didn't need to. We didn't, need to. We didn't need to waste it. Although it's not really wasting it, because it regenerates. We killed him! How lovely are we? Ah, oh, he's got weapons sticking out of him. Oh, what? What a haul. And there we are with shrine number two. I'll be honest, uh, I didn't think I'd be spending this long on these things. But I am. So, I'm going to grab these weapons. No, I'm not. Oh, now I'm going to throw some things away. Let's throw, what should we throw away? I mean, I don't really need a wind cleaver. Let's get rid of it. Let's drop it. Don't need a wind cleaver. A Gerudo spear. Boring. Uh, we don't want a rust. That's a Gerudo spear as well. I want the golden claymore. That's a good weapon. And what we got here? A royal guard's bow. Now that's a good weapon. So let's get rid of. Why have we got that? Why have we got that? That's like the weakest thing I think I've got here. Let's do it. Tony Hawk's pro skater. So we are onto this. Onto the second shrine. Okay, so it looks like we've got an electric thing going on here. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. I think I've got to power that up electrically. Uh, and then I got powered that up. The looks of things to there, and then there's to there. Ah, oh, to the door, and to this, and to this. So, oh wait, there's blocks here. This might be how we do it. So if I grab one of these. Grab this big guy. I don't need the big guy here. I think here I just need a little guy. Is there any little gap in these crossing? A little bridge. Look at that electric. And I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, and if I wrap this ball around here, this, right? Wrap the ball around that. Now we've got an electric signal there. But now the question is... Where do we go from there? Like, what, am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do here? Leave that there, right? I don't need that. Now, what he's crying is I, I kind of figured this was. Yeah. If I do that, but I'll grab the big one. Maybe the little one will cope here. Should cope actually, so it's not really a small gap. Big gap even. So we put the big one here. Grab the little one. The little one in the big one's space. Because I'm a dummy and for some reason thought I'd need to leave one in the other spot. There we go. And the door. The door is open. And also. We're not just going to leave it at that. That would be crazy because there is also a another one of these, I suppose. And then what have I got to do? Like, 
Ah, uh, okay, I get it. I gotta like hit them at the right time. Let's turn that on. Should redo it when they're green. Oh. There we go, doors open. That was actually pretty easy. These are actually a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Ah, uh, it's radiant shield. Have we got a bad shield? We got a wooden shield. The wooden shield is really high. I hate it. We ain't getting that radiant shield. There's no reason for it. We are gonna go straight to this orb, and that's all I can really do for this episode. Uh, don't we? I mean, I've probably gone over our time anyway. I don't really know how much time I've gone over because it's really hard to tell. But I feel like I've gone over a little bit. So, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And we'll be back doing the second half of this challenge, of Avosa's challenge, in the next episode of Breath of the Wild Champions Ballard Master Mode. It's the longest title ever for anything. And only one remains. There you go. What a beautiful ending. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.